and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? Zach here with another Trivia Tuesday. Uh, first time I have not brought a Boda Boy on. This is actually my dad. What's up? <laughs> uh, this is the first time you've been on camera? First time, right? Uh, for what? For us. Yeah, for you guys, yeah. Well, I know you've been on camera for other things. Yeah, for you guys, yeah. First yeah. time. First uh, time on the sports scene here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get Chris to come on, but, you know, Mr. Chris is always busy, so I have you. Yeah, Chris, where are you? Loser. <laughs> um, so this is how it works. Dad, ten questions. Uh, I brought you on here because we should have the same favorite sports team, the Bruins, obviously. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be Bruins. Bruins podcast. I bought that jersey. Chinese website. Hey, that's, that's for you, James, because I know you uh, hate on the Chinese website. Um, ten questions. Uh, if you get seven questions right, I buy dinner. If you get ten questions right, all ten questions, um, I buy you a customized Boda sweatshirt or t-shirt, whatever you want. All right? Dinner sounds, sounds more expensive. No. Not really. <laughs> no. It depends how many beers I drink. Well, that's fair, but at the same time, dinner lasts one night, sweatshirts last forever. Yeah, but beers you can you have a good time, better time. Not necessarily. I I told you, you can if, put you're buying, you yeah. can, okay. if you're buying, yeah. If you're buying, you're definitely gonna have a better time. All right. Okay, Dad. Question number one. I'll give you an easy one. Um. <sighs> you don't even have these questions written down. You can look it up on the fly. Oh yeah, no, I do this on the fly. Everyone knows we do this stuff on the fly. It's okay. Um. Who is the all-time leading point scorer in Boston Bruins history? Raymond Bork. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right, you are correct. That is that is Raymond Bork. Do you know how many points he scored? Uh, please, 15-something. Yeah, no, you'd be right. 15-06. That, that was how many points he scored. You would be right. You would be right. Question number two. Who is the all-time leading goal scorer? Phil Esposito. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are not correct. It's Johnny Busick. Oh, uh, Johnny Busick. 545 goals scored all time. Very interesting. I was looking these up earlier. I would have guessed Phil Esposito. You would have you would have been second, though. Phil Esposito scored 459 goals. So he was second place. But it was wrong. You were wrong, so you automatically don't get the sweatshirt right off the bat. So that's that's brutal. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts. Do you see, you see how I'm trying to save myself money here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've gotten complaints all three episodes. <laughs> uh, well, here's the here's the thing. So, Drew got six questions right. Okay. James got four and a half right. Okay. I don't know. Bizarre. Um, and then my friend Mike from the, the hockey podcast, Taping the Shaft, got six right. And same questions? No. No. Oh, okay. Different questions. All right. Nope, different questions. Everyone has a different favorite sports team. Okay. Question number three. Which Boston Bruin has the most shorthanded goals of all time? <laughs> uh, these aren't easy questions. Shorthanded goals? Of course it is. Uh, it's going to be... It, uh, the, uh, the, Brad, I, Brad Marchand. Marchmont. That your, is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. Okay. Good. It is Brad Marchand. I was just about to say before you answered. Marchmont. The, the record was just broken, I believe, this year. Um, by Brad Marchand. So you are correct. So you are two of three right now. Good job. Good job. Um. Wait, I get a cookie or something? No, oh. not at all. Nope. There's seven or ten questions. There's no three. Um. Hmm. Here's a good question. Dead. How many seasons have they played as the Bruins as a whole? How many seasons have they played? Can I use my calculator? If you know the year that they started... 1924. Can okay. You, can you do the math for me? I hate math. I mean, you got the year, so just use a, you can use a calculator. That's fine. So it's, not, it's it. since 1924, and I don't remember how many lockouts they had. I think it was one. Uh, no, those, no, the lot, seasons of existence, not seasons that they played. So how, how many years have they been a team? Not oh, how many seasons have since they been since 1924. Right. So how many years is that? Oh, <laughs> <a lot. laughs> 
I see. I ask easy questions. I just ask them in a way in which you have to answer them a lot harder than they need. How to many be. people you think would know nineteen twenty four? Um, not a lot of people. But then again, you know, I'm pretty sure your hat says it. So ninety six. This would be, in fact, their ninety sixth season. You are correct. That is the question. That was question number four. So you are three of four right now. You're hitting seventy five percent. So you're well on your way to dinner. Mm. But questions only get harder from here. So yeah. good luck. Yeah, because you make them harder. I don't want to spend any more money than I have to. I'm sorry. Um, all right. <sighs> Question number five. Which goaltender in Bruins history has the best save percentage of all time? Oh, jeez. Tiny Thompson. Is that your final answer? It's either Tiny Thompson or Tim Thomas, but he didn't play, he only played two years. Does that count? Does Tim Thomas count? With Tim Thomas, I mean, yeah, he counts. He, he didn't just play two years, you know. Whatever it was. He won two Vesnas, but he played like six years. <sighs> Is it per games or just all over? time? All time, over all of their games. All Over all of their games. It's the best save percentage amassed in a conglomerate of games. I have no idea. I'm going to say Tiny Thompson. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are incorrect. It's Tuka Rask. Ugh. Yeah. That's gross. That hurts, right? Uh, Tuka Rask has a 922 save percentage. That is the all-time leading record for the Bruins. I wouldn't even think of him. Yeah, I. That, again. Thanks. In the same hand, who has the most wins of all time for a goalie? Tony Thompson. No, it's Tuka Rask, you idiot. I don't know. He broke, he broke that last I year. won't say his I name. I know you won't say his name, so you're going to keep getting these questions wrong. <laughs> like I've said, on plenty of hockey podcasts, on plenty of Bodef podcasts, if you have not met him, we hate Tuka Rask. He does not like Tuka Rask. Never have. Never will. So this is where I get it from. If you want to blame me for hating Tuka Rask, you can blame him right there because he's no, no. the one. I call him Puke Up Rask. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. How many Stanley Cups have you been alive for? Alive for? For the Bruins, yes. Two. Okay. No, sorry. You would have been alive for... No. Well, 2011 was one. Right. I was born in 72. Right. What was 72, 73 season? So, yeah, two. No. It was the 71, 72 season. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That's the only one then. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask you. Was that a question? That was a question, yeah. Oh. Yeah, one. Is that your final answer? I'm trying to remember if they won it again. <laughs> 74. I think they won it again. So two. No, it's only one, Dad. It's only one. You were you were not alive for their cup in 70 or their cup in 72. Because they won the cup in 72, which is the 71 to 72 season. Same thing as saying they won the cup in 2011. That was the 10 to 11 season. Oh, the last one was so you've only been alive for one Bruins Stanley Cup. Oh. Yeah. And I said if they win me one, I'd be okay. Yeah, that's fair. They did win As soon as took a puke or ass took over, I knew it was over anyway. Yeah, good point. Anyways. Would they sign him for 50 years? Yeah, well, they could be Carey Price. They have him signed until he's 43. Mm. So, but I'd rather have Carey Price at this point. Oh, yeah, I'd rather have Carey Price. All right, fair enough. Uh, okay. Let's give, a, let's, let's give some team records, okay? See, this is all stats-based because... I'm not good with stats. I know you're not good with stats. That's why it's all stats-based. Okay, um, hmm, what do I want to do? Hmm, what is this, question number six? Yeah. What are you, what are you, four to six? Four, no, four, no, three to five? I don't know, you're, you're three to five, I don't remember, he's three to five. 
everyone you'll correct me on the on the on the download. It's fine. Um who is the longest who was the longest tenured Bruins player? So which Bruins player played the most seasons for the Boston Bruins? Pretty bluff. Is that your final answer? Yes. I will be able to tell you in just a second. You are absolutely correct. So Ray Bork, not only has did he play 1,518 games for the Bruins... He played for 25 Bruin seasons. A quarter of a century on one team. It was at 25 or 22. He went to Colorado for a few years to win the cup. Let's look that up again. Mm, 20, I thought it was 25. Let me see. That's my... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's 20. No, you're right. It's 22. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Those two were Colorado. Oh, so no, it's tw- 19 years. 19, 19. years. Yep. Okay, fair enough. I forgot. Do I get extra points because you were wrong? No, no. Why not? Because screw your extra points. I lose my uh, points. Yeah, you lose your points because you get the questions wrong. And then you you you're looking it up on your phone. You still get it wrong. I should be able to get something. Listen, I I told you this is on. Kind of show is this? All I know is that the Golden Knights are winning. Oh, that's all I care about at this point. All right. We're on question number seven. You're four of six, so you got the question right. Good job. Here's your cookie, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I had a cookie earlier. Yeah, I know you did. From the Cookie Monster. Yes, I know you did. Um, Okay. Which Bruins player... Which Bruins player currently active... Has the most game-winning goals scored in their career? Which active Bruins player has the most game-winning goals scored in their career? It's either Bergeron or Marshawn, bro. They're. I'll give you a hint. They're both on this list. One of them is tied for fifth, and then one of them is in third. Tied for fifth for what? For most game-winning goals of all time in Bruins history. I'm going to go with Bergeron. Is that your final answer? (laughs) Game-winning, right? Game-winning goals. Yes. Game-winning goals. Can you change it to, like, overtime game-winning goals? (laughs) No, just game-winning goals. Uh, GWG. I'm going to say Bergeron. So your final answer. Final answer. Five, yes, you are correct. 70, 67 game-winning goals. Third place all-time in Bruins history behind Phil Esposito and Johnny Busick. Mm-hmm. Marshawn is tied with Cam Neely. My favorite player. Yes, I know your favorite player is Cam Neely. Um, oh, there's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Here's a good question. Question number eight. Before they traded... Joe Thornton in 2004 or 5? 4 or 5? I forget what year it is. I think it was 5. Um, can you give me the the name of his two other line mates that used to play with him all the time? Oh, shit. Glenn Murray. Yep. And the other the other one. The other one is a name I haven't heard in a long time, but I just saw it on there. And that's Mike Knubel. He used to play with Joe Thornton all the time? All the time on the on his line, yeah. But they used to have a line called the seven hundred pound line. So your answer is kind of tricky. Because... Oh, is it? Oh, okay, fair enough. I didn't know that. Yeah, look that I up. Did, I did forget Mike Knubel on that. I didn't know about that actually. Seven hundred pound. What? Who was that? Was that Murray Thornton and Knubel? I believe so. All right, so fuck it. I'll give it to you then. If you yeah. if they had a name, then absolutely. I was going with Sergey Samsonov. You don't remember Sergey Samsonov? Yeah, I remember him, but yeah. Didn't he? He played with Thornton all the time in, in Glen Murray. So did Knubel. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You know more than I do, clearly. <laughs> Whatever. He gets it right. I don't care. Look up who the 700 pound line is. That's fine. Okay. Uh, well, 
Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and funny enough, Claude Julien was the one that named it. Mm. They were some big boys. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, shit, didn't know that. All right, well, fine. He schooled me on that one. Uh, what, are we on? what are you, five of seven now? Yeah, you're five of seven. Question number eight. That was eight. That was no, eight. that was seven. That was eight. That was, was it eight? So what are you, five of eight now? Or six oh, of eight? Six of eight. Jesus Christ, six of eight. Question number nine. <sighs> 2011, the Bruins rolled with all four lines all throughout the playoffs. What was the name of the fourth line? Mm. Merlot line. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah, who was on the line? <sighs> Pae, Thornton, and Campbell. Yep. I knew he'd know that one. I love that. That was such a good line. Uh, you owe me dinner. I yeah, clearly. What are you what are you now? Seven of nine? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I own dinner. Alright, fuck it. You you go wherever you want. You already beat Drew in well, the last one doesn't doesn't even matter because I already won. So. Yeah, so let me let me give you a let me give you a hard one then. Shit. Like I said, he's been around longer. He knows his trivia. <laughs> then again, I was quizzing James on the Browns and Drew on the Packers, and they haven't been lifelong fans. So this is what happens when you quiz a lifelong fan. They know their stuff. I should have known it was the Chief too. More points. Hey. Okay. More know. goals. I mean. Too. More goals. The Chief. Yeah, I know. Um, alright, let me devise a question then. Let me devise a question. Okay. Um, I think this record still stands, but a Bruins player, Bruins goaltender specifically. I don't like goaltender questions. I know you don't like goaltender questions. Set the record for the all time save percentage in the playoffs. I want you to give me the player. And I want you to remember, see if you can remember the save percentage. Because I remember the save percentage. And so I'm going to look it up. Ask just the question, say the question again. So a Bruins goaltender set the playoff record for save percentage. Yeah, it was Tim Thomas. Correct. Do you remember what the save percentage was? I, yeah, I don't. Okay. And 0.982. Okay, no, that's absurd. No, I don't remember. The save percentage was point nine four five. Okay, so do I get half the question right? No, you gotta answer it all. Well, right? How did how did you already get the fucking dinner? Do you kidding me? How did Drew get four point five right? Oh, whatever. It was. James? Yeah, it was a pity point. I made fun of his. I made fun of him. I got half the question right. As you get half half of it. Oh my God. Seven point five. James, this is your fault. So if you watch this, I want to blame you for the half point thing. Swagger can go fuck himself, all right? I got half God of it right. That dog, he can fuck himself. 7.5. Okay, so I, I, I guess I guess he gets the half a point. I guess he goes 7.5 out of 10. I mean, you literally went 75% on the questions. Yeah, There's nothing dinner. else I can say. In a free dinner. So there know, you have it. So we have, our, we, we have our first winner. We have our first winner here on Trivia Tuesday. My dad. He wins a free dinner on me. Good, good luck getting a free dinner on me. I don't know. Yeah, um, I, I just paid for your dinner tonight. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I'll take you out to dinner, don't worry. Uh, but, yeah, no. I mean, did you, did you enjoy yourself answering trivia that you should have known? Yeah, I enjoyed putting you in your place a couple of times. See what happens? You know, you look at it, your phone, you still, what don't, you still don't get See what it. what happens. This is what happens. What's the matter with you people? That's what you're sports people. I am sports people. You, you can't even do it right on your phone. Okay. You're looking on your phone, looking up the history. This, this, room, is, this room is like 90 degrees, all right? I'm in sweatpants oh, and in New yeah. Jersey. You gotta, you gotta oh, let me, yeah. you gotta let give me some slack here, all right? You guys can see the 90 sweat degrees? glistening. Yeah, it's Ooh, so I'm, hot. I'm gonna here. let one go. Oh my god, Jesus. it's gonna be nice in here. Oh, for the love of God! You guys know where to find us: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. We're on YouTube. Check us out there. I might die, so, you know, save me, I guess, from his caustic asshole. Peace out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for all alerts on our uploaded videos. And find us everywhere at Bodasport.